You're just getting me weak. You look like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Got a knife? No, but there's a screw. This is good, uh, good entertainment. All right, you can cut that for now. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get something more appropriate. Today we are pouring urethane foam, which is used to fill voids under the deck. So if you're in the event where you're taking on water, the water can't fill those voids. We're at the four ounce mark, just over hundred milliliters. No shot you get this right. Oh, this is a thick boy. Nah, I missed. Put in too much. I had to put in a little bit more over here. I don't want to put in too much on this end. <laughs> yep, that's it right there. So we're going to pour this in first. You got your times you need? Your mixing times? Actually, we're going to pour the thick boy in. Yeah, I'm just going to count to like 20 seconds. Because it says 25 seconds, but I want to be a little bit ahead of it. All right. Yeah, because this is a little thicker consistency. Now it's a one-to-one -one ratio, two-part liquid that once you combine that, that does a chemical reaction and the foam expands. However, I've never used this, so we're going to test this out with just a little bit of each. So I should start pouring now? Yep. Alright. Looks like peanut butter. I kind of does, but that one may be a little hefty in there. All the way back there. And you can pour this on top of each other, which is good. Alright, well, looks like I didn't need to rush that much. It just does nothing. <laughs> it just stays liquid. It just stays liquid. It said 45 second pour time, but it said, it said what? 25 second mix and then a uh, 45 second pour time? I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's expanding. Yeah, it is. This will be interesting to see how big it expands. Yeah. yeah. But also, since it's all coming down here, next pour, depending you know, on how high, do, be able to go up there. jack this back down. Yeah, that's true. You definitely see it expanding though. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, honestly. Is there a little bit more so I can do a little bit more? What, like eight ounces or something? Yeah, we're we're just under eight ounces on that one. Woo. It's got to be more. <laughs> but yeah, it's a ten or just under ten, or a little bit more in here. So we're going big on this guy. Isn't we? He got a little excited. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been pissed. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because it's already hot and reacting, so I decided to just clean that stuff out so we can get kind of fresh. So after doing it, I realized I have a little bit more time than it recommends. I think it said a 25 second stir time and then a 45 second pour time. I exclaimed earlier, I don't exactly know what that means, but it took quite a while for it to actually expand and turn into foam from this liquid form. So we definitely have a longer time to stir it and make sure it's well mixed before we actually pour it into the void. And from the moment I poured these two parts together, it was about 45 seconds from when I did pour it into the void and I had no troubles. It did not start expanding, so you should be good. Huh, I wonder if that's what 45 second pour time means. Yeah, try to pour it from the top. Ooh. I'll be pouring more in here. That's all it expanded down there. I don't know how long it expands for though. I'll have to see if it says it on the thing. I don't think it does. All right, so there's that pour. We decided to up the ante a bit. <laughs> we upgraded. From these to those. All right. All right, that's how we're running on that. Where are we at? That's Almost it. at 1100. So, but right at one liter right there. Okay, yeah, because this is, 
sorry to get empty. All right, bro. So I guess I will use, probably, probably use all of it. All right, same idea here. I'm not sure what we're at. Oh, we're above it, I think. But there is also a little bit above it. A little layer there. You know what I'm talking about? I'll pour a little bit more in here. Just a splash. Splashed. Put the thick stuff in first, like always. All right, and part A. One. Time for the stir. Some back in there. I actually got to get a little right there. Yeah. yeah, this looks like it's done foaming up. But what what do you say that was? We did. No, we did around six ounces the first time and then eight ounces the next time, I think. Or ten ounces the next time. Yeah, it was ten. It's but that was also of each part. Yeah. So a total of bad. 20 plus 12, so 32 ounces. About 32 ounces, which that's actually exactly a quart right there. Gonna need some more. Look at this, though. Good God. Yo, this is... Oh, my God. Like that one might go over. Yeah, this one <laughs> might go over. Let's just hope it continues to go like uphill. Will. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure that it will, but hey, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Could have poured a little bit. I just didn't know how to get it over there. So what we do, we put this down to try to push the foam out from trying to come up. Yeah. But while doing that, we got the first look at a deck in the boat. That's so sick. Until hey, so this board sticks to the foam. <laughs> yeah, we can't get it up. So seat. Seat will be right here. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, it'll probably come out a little. I don't know how far out I'm gonna build it, but it'll at least be right here. You know, that'd be nice. With your tiller handle motor. <laughs> yeah, on the 200. <laughs> so we went a little bit less than last time, right? Because last time I feel like on top, or do you think about the same? About the same. I have a little bit left in here, but that's it. Just a little bit in case we want to touch up anywhere. So okay. Just under a liter. I almost poured it in there. What is Take it? stuff first. First we get 30X expansion. Looks like we will be buying more. <laughs> we. You gonna help me? Before? <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right, three. Two, one. I can't really see how much is coming out. But it's okay. Pretty. Ooh, I put too much up there. That's not right there. I'm gonna put more in the rear. Oh, it's leaking through. Our tape job wasn't that good, huh? No, nah, not on this side. Still holding it off a good amount, but move this board, see how the other side's doing. Uh, hold this up. That's solid. I'm happy with that. We have another inch. I mean, two inches really, but like another inch with what I'd be comfortable with. Two inches, it may even come above. It's uh, midway and a little bit Past midway update on this side. Yeah, I think it'll be even. Al, what did you ask me a second ago? <laughs> what did you ask me a second well, ago? There's more foam on that side, so it's going to be right and left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so when I was initially pouring in this foam, I was under the impression that it was supposed to help my boat float better. 
I mean, in my defense, it says it's supposed to help the buoyancy. 58 pounds per cubic foot of this stuff. So, uh, that's what I thought. But the fact of the matter is, that's not the case, as many of y'all probably know. This stuff, as I mentioned earlier, is just in case you take on water, this void cannot be filled with water because it's filled with the foam. And the foam does float, so in that instance, it'll help your boat float, not just, you know, in regular use. It's not going to compensate for a 500 pound motor that you put on the back of the thing. And I mentioned my preconceived understanding of this stuff to like four or five different people that knew what they were talking about when it comes to boats. And nobody corrected me. And that's actually why I put it on the outer stringers because maybe it would help keep things level if I had a bunch of people on one side of the boat. But that's, yeah. Anyway, I picked up a motor. I don't have much footage of this, but I took to Craigslist and purchased a 2002 Yamaha OX66. It's a two-stroke, but it is fuel injected. It came with the throttle, the ignition switch, two gauges it did not come with like teleflex cables but those are typically cut to size anyway so not that big of a deal and then of course it came with the oil canister now the original idea was to go ahead and get a brand new motor but one didn't really want to spend the money and two they were mm, three four maybe even five to six months out at most dealers around here for a yamaha 154 stroke or really any 154 stroke for that matter so instead of waiting um, I have a kit on the way, so this is a rushed project at this point. I opted in for getting what I could get now, which was a pretty dang clean 20-year-old motor. <laughs> Stoked.